So here I have a flowchart and a blank canvas. So now in order to work properly in Microsoft Visual, you can use uh, layers as an option. So uh, in order to work with layers, I'm going to go into home and here I have layers. And here you can see that I can go to layer properties. And right now there's no layers at all. There's just zero items in the flowchart as you can see and nothing is actually on. So I'm just going to press OK and now I'm going to bring in a flowchart. So let's say I'm going to bring a start and end. I'm going to go over here, add in uh, this option uh, for decision and I'm going to select a process just like this and maybe I want to end the chart just like that. So this is my flowchart over here. Now if I were to go to layers and I'm going to go into layer properties, you can see that I got uh, two layers right here. So there's the connector layer as you can see which is the connectors right here and the flowchart with all the shapes. So I can disable and enable this just like this. So I'm going to disable the flowchart, click apply and I can see that all the flowchart disappeared. I can enable this, apply, all the flowcharts come back. Also the visibility, apply it and you can see that the connectors disappear now, apply it and there you go. You can also remove the connectors right here, press OK and apply and you can see that the connectors gets removed and all the shapes are as it is. And we just press Ctrl Z to bring it all back. And the layer in the layer properties, you can also make it like an active layer right here and you can lock the layer as well. Active layer are those which you can work with just like that. And if you were to lock the layers right here, so let's say I want to lock uh, the flowchart right here, press OK. You can see that you cannot edit this flowchart anymore. Let's go to layer properties right here. You can also work around with the color of the layer just like that. So let me just change it into this color right here, the layer color, press OK, and the color changes just like that as well. I'm going to go into color just like that. You can change the layer color, press OK, and the layer color changes just like that. Let me go to layer properties over here, layer color. Let me just select this out, and that's it. So this is the default color. I, I cannot actually work around with this. So log it out. You can see that I can choose different color, apply, and that's the color. Let's apply. So I can actively select the uh, color just like that, this. Also, I can work around with its transparency right here. So you can see that there's some level of transparency once I apply that out. And I can press apply and press OK. So with the use of layers, you can see that I can really control the design and utilize design techniques in Microsoft Visio. So that is how you can work with layers inside of Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.